and girls. Hello, snoozer. Hello, Mrs. Hamilton. Today, we are going to be reading a story from a book called Joy School. And the author is Richard and Linda Iyer. And we've really been enjoying this book, haven't we? Yes. Are we going to be reading the whole book today? Oh, no. We're just going to be reading one story. I have it all set up here. And it's called... The Bears Save the Baby. So I wonder how they're going to save a baby. Hmm. Once upon a time, there were three bears, a daddy bear, a mama bear, and a little baby bear. One day, they were having soup for dinner, and the baby bear said in his wee little voice, This soup is too hot! It is, said Daddy Bear in his deep, big voice. Let's go for a walk in the woods while it cools off. So they did. They skipped off into the woods, singing their favorite song, which was, The Bear Went Over the Mountain. Do you know that song, Snoozer? Hmm, no. Well, maybe I'll teach it to you after we finish the story. When the song ended, the baby bear said, Shh, listen, I hear someone else singing. They all listened and they heard a little song coming out of the deepest part of the woods. Let's go see who it is, said the mama bear. They crept very quietly, as only bears can do. Pretty soon, they were close enough to hear the singer clearly. His was a strange, croaky little voice, and the song went like this. Today I cook, tomorrow I bake, the next day the queen's child I take, for she will never, never proclaim that Rumpelstiltskin is my name. That's scary. It is a little scary. And I don't, uh, he's saying that the queen will never proclaim his name. Proclaim means to say his name. The bears got close enough to see through the trees and into a clearing. They saw a tiny, wicked looking man dancing around his fire. He sang the last line again. Rumpelstiltskin is my name. That must be his name, Rumpelstiltskin. In a tiny whisper, the daddy said, Come this way. And the three bears walked quickly and quietly away until they could not hear the little man anymore. Then the daddy bear said in his deep, big voice, Who was that? He was bad, said the baby bear in his high, squeaky voice. What was he singing about, asked the mama bear in her soft, gentle voice. About the princess, I think, said the daddy bear. He is going to take her away from the queen, said the baby bear. Unless the queen can guess his name, said the mama bear. She'll never guess a funny name like Rumpelstiltskin, said the baby bear. Unless we tell her, said the daddy bear. Let's run to the palace, said the baby bear. Off went the three bears as fast as their legs would carry them. At last, they saw the palace. At first, the guard was afraid when he saw them, but the mama bear said in her soft, gentle voice, Don't worry, we have come to tell the queen the name of the bad little elf. Oh boy. What do you think, Snoozer? Do you think they're going to tell her in time? I don't know. I'm very worried. Well, let's see what happens. You know his name, said the guard. We've all been trying to figure it out. Come with me right this way. 
when they found the queen, she was crying and sobbing. How can I ever learn his name? We know it! We know it! said the baby bear in his high, squeaky voice. What? Who are you? asked the queen, looking up. We found the little man in the woods, said the big daddy bear respectfully. He didn't see us, but we heard him say his name. The queen clapped her hands with joy, and the baby bear whispered in her ear. Rumpel Stiltskin. That night, when the little elf showed up laughing and thinking <laughs> that he would take the baby, the bears were carefully hidden under the table so that they could watch. Well, you don't know my name, he said, so I'll be taking the little princess. Let me guess first, said the queen. You said I had three guesses. All right, but hurry, said the elf. You'll never guess it. Queen was enjoying herself now. She decided to use all of her guesses before getting it right. Is it Jeremiah? She asked. You're not worried, are you, Snoozer? No. I want her to guess Snoozer is the name. No, I don't think she's going to say that, but she does know the name. No, 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 laughed the little man, rubbing his hands together. Yes, again. Is it Jehoshaphat? said the queen. No, 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 no. You'll never guess. Oh, no. She only has one guess left. What if she forgets? Oh, I don't think so, but let's find out. Well, said the queen, for my last guess, it is Rumple Stiltskin. The elf turned right in the face with anger. He stomped his feet so hard that he disappeared right through the floor and was never seen again. There was a great celebration at the palace and the queen invited the bears to stay and to become special palace guards. The bears thanked her, but they said they had to get back to their house to see if their soup had cooled off yet. Mrs. Hamilton, did that story happen in real life? No, this is just kind of like a fairy tale. It's a story that sometimes teaches us a lesson, and I think there was a lesson in this story, but it's not real. It's just to enjoy. So what do you think was the lesson in this story, Snoozer? Hmm. Hmm. To help others? Oh my goodness, Snoozer, that's amazing. Yes, sometimes if someone needs help, it shows a lot of courage to actually stand up and help them. And the three bears showed great courage by going and telling the queen because they helped her out. And it's always nice to help others in need. Well, I am really impressed what a great listener you were. So, do you want to hear the bear went over the mountain? Yes, I do! It's a really easy song, and you can sing along once you get the idea, but it's super easy. Here it goes. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. To see what he could see, to see what he could see, to see what he could see. The bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, to see what he could see. What do you think? That was fun! I want to do it again! All right, let's do it again, but I'm going to change it a little. Listen to this part. The bear showed great courage. The bear showed great courage. The bear showed great courage.
to go and tell the queen to go and tell the queen to go and tell the queen the bear showed great courage the bear showed great courage the bear showed great courage to go and tell the queen well, that was a lot of fun. All right. Well, would you like to make a craft with Mrs. Hamilton? Yes! Woohoo! I thought it would be fun to make a craft of a bear. That ties along nicely with the story we read today, okay? Yes! What color is the bear? I think I'm going to make the bear. Well, you can make him any color you want, but I think I'm going to make him like in the book, a brown bear. everything I need. I've got my crayons, my glue, my scissors. So, Snoozer, I've got three shades here. Hmm. Three shades of brown. Which one do you like? The third one. All right. You could really use any shade you want. So, I'm going to teach you a little trick, okay? When you color, you should color it before you cut it out because you don't even have to stay in the lines. Look at this. Do, do, do. Okay, now I'm going to cut out the pieces. I think we're ready to go. So you can glue the head on any way you want. Which way? This way, this way, or that way? That one! Like it right there? All right. Here we go. I'm going to add some glue. Boom, ba -da. Stick my head on just the way you like. All right. And then the eyes. And the nose. <laughs> what about the smile? Good idea, Snoozer. I'll have to add that. All right, so let me get some eyes. I'm so glad you're helping me with this because I think I would have forgotten them all. Okay. I'm going to have to get myself a black crayon. All right. Here I go. Oh, he looks very happy, doesn't he? I have that song stuck in my head. The bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. All right, well, I had great fun doing this with you and Snoozer, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Hi, boys and girls. Would you like to do the Mrs. Hamilton craft just like me? Guess what? You can. Head to your local library for all the materials that we use in the craft.